Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'll show you how to fix the issue of not being able to extend your C drive when there is an allocated space. As you can see, I have 16.95 gigabyte of an allocated space that I want to add to my C drive. However, when I right click on my C drive, the extend volume option is grayed out. Now this happens because the Windows recovery partition is between my C drive and the unallocated space. To extend the C drive, we need to temporarily disable the recovery partition. Let me show you how to do that. Let's start by opening the command prompt as an administrator. Once open, type reagent C space forward slash disable and press enter. This will disable the Windows recovery environment. Next, type disk part and press enter. Then type list disk and press enter. After that, type select disk zero and press enter. And now type list partition and press enter. Look for your recovery partition, usually labeled as recovery. Once you found it, type select partition for or the correct partition number and press enter. Then you need to type detail partition and press enter. We need to copy this recovery partition information and paste it into a notepad. We'll need it later to recreate our recovery partition. Next, let's type delete space partition space override and press enter. Now, if I go back to my disk management, you'll see that the recovery partition has been deleted. And now if I right click on my C drive, I should be able to extend it without any problems. So let's go ahead and extend our C drive and follow the instructions. Next, we need to recreate the recovery partition we deleted. First, we'll create a new partition. So let's right click on the C drive and select shrink value. Let's allocate one gigabyte of space. So let's type 1024, then click on shrink. Now let's go back to the command prompt and type list space partition and press enter. Then select the new empty partition we just created. So type select space partition space four or the correct number for you and press enter. Next, let's type the ID and attribute for the recovery partition. So let's type set space ID equal and let's go back to the notepad and copy the ID and paste it here. And next type GPT space attribute equal and just copy the attribute from the notepad and paste it here. This will create the recovery partition. Now you'll notice that the recovery partition appears in your file explorer. To hide it, let's go back to the command prompt and type list space volume and press enter. Then select the recovery partition by typing select space volume space F or the correct drive for you and press enter. Now let's type remove space letter equal F to hide it. Now let's type exit to leave the disk part. And finally type reagent C space forward slash enable and press enter to re-enable the Windows recovery environment. Now if you check the file explorer again, the recovery partition will no longer be visible. And that's how to extend your C drive when the recovery partition is in the way. I hope this was useful. If it was, please like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye for now.